The U.S. State Secretary Anthony Blinken has discussed the Hamas attack on Israel with the foreign ministers of Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Turkey and UK Foreign Secretary and the Qatari Prime Minister. He also discussed the attack with Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameer Shorki in, in his talks with the Turkish Foreign Minister, Blinken reiterated Israel's right to defend itself, rescue any hostages and protect its citizens. Meanwhile, the death toll in Hamas attack rises to over 500. Of course, viewers, that's the latest that we're tracking for you now. Uh, U.S. State Secretary Anthony Blinken coming in and stating and in fact speaking to foreign ministers. Uh, meanwhile, I'm being joined by Ambassador Suresh Kumar Goyal. He's a former diplomat. Good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining in on NewsX. Now, U.S. discusses Hamas attacks with Saudi, Egypt, Qatar. Um, what do you make of these developments? Uh it's uh, very uh, quite flux, really, very uncertain. The situation, the geopolitical situation has changed a lot over the last three or four years. As we all know, that the USA is trying to strike the new agreement between Saudi Arabia and Israel. You, we have I2, U2, so there is a new dynamics over there, completely new uh, configuration. And if Saudi Arabia is trying to have an agreement with Israel, uh, what place will Palestine have? There are speculations on the new agreement, but it has not been signed as yet. Therefore, the position that Saudi Arabia would take, so far what I know is that Saudi Arabia is also advising restraint on both sides and enter into conversation to resolve the issues. But beyond, it has not gone beyond that so far. So it would be useful to see, see what Saudi Arabia says after the conversation with Anthony Blinken. But given this relationship with a uh, Palestinian uh, national authority, uh, I don't know. It looks a very, very, very difficult and very important for Yes. Right, absolutely. But with these talks uh, in mind, do you think uh, this war has the potential of uh, polarizing the world? The war has already polarized the world. Yes, sir. Look at all that is happening. There are two clear groups. There is one group clearly siding with Israel. There is another group which is clearly siding with Hamas. And the prop, the prop also is that is polarization of the world. Hamas is being protected as several protected while Israel is being protected as a side which is defending itself, protect itself from that system. So there are there are perceptions on both sides and the world polarized. But the polarization of the world could lead to the group, but when lead to any further military that is For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.